So I actually have quite a few armies uh, that I was planning on running as old hammers. Oh, sorry, Warhammer the Old World. And custom people have stopped communicating with me. I've asked for a refund. These uh, things that don't fit. But I thought I'd show a bunch of these miniatures and just see if any of them actually fit. They wanted me to measure them as well, which, um, well, I'm just measuring them with what they've given me. So, uh, so this is another Rochi Rochford. Top one is just holding it in place. This one was very badly broken up when I finally got it. Let's see if any of these... Sorry, I'm opening this the wrong way. As you can see, a bunch of uh, undead. Some of them don't have shields, which annoys me a little bit because it means so oh, this plate cut, a bunch of other stuff put together. Okay, so let's see if any of these guys will fit. Wow, it fits, just. So these are probably actually old GW. Look at that. Okay, that one's even a little loose. That's all without a shield. So, no, this one doesn't fit. <laughs> so, to illustrate, okay, it'll fit in that one, but it won't fit in that one. Will any of these fit in this one? Will the smallest one fit in that one? Oh yes, just. Okay, so here's the trick. You find, you find original, I think these are original GW bases. Where do we actually see that? On the top there. Let's see if we can get that in focus. I can't see it. I can see in focus. Anyway. So, but yeah, they don't fit consistently. So this one, this middle one is a problem. This one's a problem. This one's a problem. This one's a problem. So we got three fitting, probably with old GW bases, and a bunch that don't fit at all anywhere. This is the big one. So let's move... See if any of these fit the small one. That's a small one. But this one's... No, that one doesn't fit. So here you go. This is the this is the whack-a-mole of trying to get this to work. So these, I'm assuming, are all GW bases because these are, are Rochi. Yep, GW, 1995. That's what it says in there. Is the light on it? I don't know. Anyway. So that one just fits there. Okay, so... I don't know. Four out of five of them maybe fit. So this is the GW. Sorry, an undead old hammer. This I think I bought from Rochi, I don't know, uh, just before the pandemic started. Because we were in our house in uh, San Jose and we were having electrical issues. So the army arrived uh, to take it out. What's this part of? It's off something. I think perhaps off this. So, and a bunch of the bits broke, and yeah, we've got a bunch of grass and other stuff here. This, I think, is a holder for um, this. So we've got a bunch of interesting stuff there. And lo and behold, it does fit some of it. And underneath, we've got even more ghouls, some cavalry. It's going to be a great little old hammer army, I think. Or sorry, Warhammer the Old World Army. And maybe, I think I have a solution to this thing. Now... What uh, Custom Meeple wanted me to do was to do some other research and development with them on my dime. Wait till uh, they had remade these. As we can see, some of them work with the original GW95 bases, but not even that's consistent. Like, some of them are still too big, even for that. Anyway, so that's the Undead Army, which I think um, the Old World's not doing, like, regular Undead. They're doing the... Um, Egyptian themed stuff. Okay, so now we have a bunch of racks. These are recent ones that I got to my own Rochi. This is actually a, a commercial, uh, what's the term? Commission. Let's open this up. Oh, of course, they're around the other way. Uh, okay, so here we've got a bunch of, uh, look at these beauties. Uh, so do I test these ones out? These are all on my, um, just having to get regular bases. No, it's not going to fit any of them. Yep. Yep. It's not fitting any of them. That fits slightly, but not really. Yeah, none of these fit. So, for modern basing attempts, you just have no no chance whatsoever. 
So here are the rats. Let's move these out. Look at these beauties. Let's try to get them the right way around. I always put them so they're facing down. If if the thing is seated, then they'll be seated too. More of them here. So, ooh, we've got a shield come off here. I think that needs a spot of glue. Okay, so that's a shield. Some of them have shields, some of them don't have shields. Which is always the problem with these old hammer armies. Some of them have shields, some of them don't have shields. <sighs> so I'll fit that out when I've uh, come to it. So that's the second one. Again, no no love from custom people with regards to any of those fitting. So I think for the early ones, so now we have the dwarf army, which I showed a little bit of last time. This is the one where none of them fit. Oh, well, I was going to show that off as well. Around. Oops, sorry. So there's a bunch of dwarves. Now this was a, an unpainted army that I bought on eBay and then sent to a painter. Apparently there's one guy with a shield missing, but I think all of these guys have shields. So he was able to find, I think he customized a shield. Maybe this one. No, that one looks okay. Maybe, I don't know what happened. There was a shield missing. He was able to get a shield somehow, I think. And there's a bunch of war machines. This too. This is actually going to be quite cute. I'm really looking forward to it. I actually have proper, <laughs> proper measurement bases. It'll actually fit this thing. So this is the dwarfs. And the last one is a chaos army, which is just all of those ones are bigger than they're all 25 millimeters to start off with. So I don't think there's any issue getting them off. How should I do this? Open it up. Let's see how we open it. Look at this stuff. These are just classic miniatures that Rachi was able to source some more hounds in there. Let's take this up. Let's take this up. Here are a bunch of Chaos Warriors around like that. Sorry. Just trying to film them as best I can. And here we have just a classic miniature. There we go. A bunch of other stuff. Look at this. Cyclops, Ogre. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff underneath it. Uh, really difficult to move around, unfortunately. With uh, two and a half hands free. Let me see what's... Oh, this is a dragon ogre. Worth showing, just down here. And a bunch of minotaurs. So yeah, this is a classic army. Looking forward to getting this out. I should probably get them out and actually show them. Uh, make videos of me actually showing them. Which might be better than this slightly laboured approach. So I can get them out, show them out, and maybe hopefully at some stage have some of these things that work. Uh, contacted a friend of mine, Ron Kleiss, who does my mount models, and he has a, a laser burner. So my hope is that I'll be able to get him to do the etching. Anyway, so here are one, two, three, four old hammer armies, hopefully being converted to Warhammer the Old World. Tom Barbell in Las Vegas, signing out.